Um, what was it like when you were a kid? You didn't have rights. You didn't have rights to speak up for your own self. When we lived in the French camps, we weren't allowed on the school buses. Yet we had to walk from the French camp to the school because the school buses weren't allowed to pick Aboriginal people up. The Aboriginal children, they had to leave them and drive past them and even if it was pouring with the rain, they just drove straight past them. And it was, it was a, it wasn't something that, that upset you because you was used to it. That was how it was. But looking back on it now, that was a bad thing. It wasn't the color of your skin. It was because you was Aboriginal. And that was it. You was Aboriginal and you wasn't allowed on there. It wasn't because the community said you wasn't allowed. It was a government law. You had to get permission to even go and get married. All these things you had to go through the, the uh, protector the, of Aboriginals. How have things changed? We all got involved in them, in them, in them demonstrations. A lot of movements in the 60s where the screaming for other rights are for Aboriginal people. You had the, the, the women, some of the women were, were, were the strongest that pushed for, for our rights, for our people in different areas. You got, you got some of the men that went out and just sat down and never done anything because they didn't have rights. So they said to the workers, uh, to their employers, we're not working, we're just gonna sit down here. But the message got through to the government that this is what we wanted. It was hard growing up in the, in, in the early days and when we look back on it. And the stuff that, that we're talking about here, here now, it's important to keep that in your, in your mind and to tell, as you get older, tell everyone else, don't forget it.